in terms of our unique individualized approach, you need to know that historically the methods used to treat children with autism spectrum disorders have included medications. This is traditional medicine. And this method may help improve the symptoms but are limited to overall effectiveness. Medications will not correct the imbalance in your child's brain. If your child stops taking the medication, the symptoms will return almost immediately. Stimulant drugs to treat ADHD such as Adderall, Ritalin, Concerta, so on and so forth, have a systemic effect to the child's body. They may offer relief of symptoms for the day, but the side effects may change your life and your children's life forever. On the other hand, the natural brain-based therapy has relatively zero side effects, which is what we do. So why is your child being told to take brain stimulants? Could it be because it makes money for pharmaceutical companies? Could it be because schools, they get additional funding to have more kids in the IAP program or a special needs class? I don't want to go off tangent now. So the steps are as follows. Step one, you will watch this video to have an understanding what we do and ask us any questions when you come in. Step two, you are going to fill out a specifically designed questionnaire. This will include questions about your general health, specific health, cognitive questionnaire, behavior questionnaire, hormone questionnaire, so on and so forth. Step three, you are going to see one of our physicians to answer your questions. So if you qualify for the program, we are going to accept you as a patient. We only accept patients who qualify for this program. If we feel we can help you, we will accept you as a patient. Step four, most of our patients are recommended to have some diagnostic evaluation which is performed on site and they're non-invasive. Common diagnostic testing are QEEG testing, which is a painless and a non-invasive, non-chemical, non-surgical, zero side effect, computerized test that shows your brain activity while doing different tasks. The data will help our physicians to design your program. Another common diagnostic test is food sensitivity testing. Like I said before, the only way to know is to get tested. If you do not have pain, that doesn't mean your gut is working properly. If you have gut symptoms, we are 100% sure that your gut is not working properly.